Welcome to Image Industries and Hellerman Titan's presentation of the weld stud cable mount. For comparison purposes, we will now show the traditional weld stud cable mounting system. For any welding process, a good ground must be established. For painted frame rails, this requires removal of the paint by grinding and attaching the weld ground cable. For unpainted applications, the grinding step is obviously unnecessary. For many applications, it is necessary to measure and mark the locations for the cable management system. While the method of measuring and marking varies by application, this segment is intended to illustrate that process. With the old style process, the locations for the weld studs also needed to be free of paint to achieve a good weld. Again, this paint removal is accomplished with grinding. The fourth step in the more traditional cable management process, weld standard threaded weld studs to the frame using conventional stud welding. After welding is complete, the ceramic ferrules are broken off the weld studs and cleaned up as necessary. Next, the correct size P-clamp for the cable bundle is selected and installed around the bundle. In some situations, there may be 10 to 20 P-clamp sizes for different bundle sizes. If the wrong P-clamp is chosen, it must be removed and replaced with the correct size. Washers and nuts must now be installed. Once these steps are completed, the ninth and final step of driving and torquing the nuts can be done to finish the assembly. We would now like to show you a more efficient cable management system. As with the traditional system, the new system involves welding, which requires the same good electrical ground. And again, as with the traditional system, the cable management locations need to be identified and marked. However, unlike the traditional method, no additional grinding is required for the weld studs. Using a specialized stud welding setup, the tool from the weld stud cable mount assembly is placed directly against the painted frame rail. This new system is able to successfully weld the new mount in place through the painted surface. Next, the cable ties are installed. This represents another huge opportunity. Instead of many different P-clamps, only one size tie is used. This eliminates part numbers, inventory costs, and warehouse space. The operators have no need to second-guess correct sizes. There are no battery-operated tools to assemble nuts and washers. A simple handheld tool tightens and trims the cable ties. In a close-up, it is easy to see how the specially designed mount directs the tie under the bundle when the tie is inserted. It is then easily cinched around any diameter bundle. Each weld mount is capable of supporting over 250 pounds. And because of the nylon construction, the system far outlasts metal P-clamps and salt spray tests. Once trimmed, the mount provides a clean, professional appearance. 
How does the cable mount system work? There are two system parts, the weld mount and the stud weld tool. The mount has a special point on the weld end that allows the mount to penetrate the paint. While the point is sharp, it is not so sharp as to cause operator injury. The second part of the system is the stud weld tool. It is comprised of a special spark shield, a sealing boot, a shielding gas delivery line, and a smoke evacuation line. The smoke evacuation is optional and is only needed if the manufacturing environment requires it. The weld mount is inserted into the holder, or chuck, by simply pushing the non-pointed end into the opening. A key aspect of paint penetration is the hammering action of the tool. This action helps the point to pierce the paint. How good is the weld? Let's weld one and strike it with a ball-peen hammer until it fails. These mounts can take quite a beating. Let's take a closer look at the weld quality. We will weld one, break the top off, and remove the mount so we can examine the weld quality more closely. As the camera zooms into the weld, you can see that the weld quality is outstanding with no porosity. Also, notice how little paint is actually removed around the base of the weld stud. The grayish rectangle is just soot from the weld, which can easily be wiped up. For speed, strength, and simplicity, the new weld mount from Image Industries and Hellerman Titan is a superior cable management system. Thank you for watching.